to start a couple weeks just talking about Christmas. Ja me paar nädalat kavatsame rääkida nüüd jõuludest. And and this is going to be our Christmas message and my subtitle for this today is going to be expecting. Ja see on siis minu jõulu sõnum ja selle alla alla pealgi on oodates. And that we we need to be expecting some things. Me peame ootama midagi. And so we're going to look at this here a little bit. Ja me vaatame siin veidi seda. But I think there's many reasons why people choose to celebrate Christmas. There's people that choose to celebrate Christmas just because of the gifts. There's people that choose to celebrate Christmas because of the parties. Because of the food. Or because of time with family and friends. Or just because it's tradition. And so there's, a lo- there's lots of, of reasons why people celebrate Christmas at this time of year. But for us, as Christians, as believers in Jesus, we, cele- we celebrate Christmas as, as, as an amazing event that happened 2000 years ago. Me täistame jõule kui üht imelist sündmust, mis 2000 aastat tagasi aset leidis. Christmas is the celebration. Jõulu täistavad of the entrance of our savior. Me pääst ja ma- siia maailma tulekut. Into this world. Yeah. Yeah. Tulekut, yeah. <laughs> and so that is what we're celebrating. Selle pärast me täistame. This is why we 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 decorate. Selle pärast me kaunistame kõiki paiku. Not out of tradition. Mitte traditsiooni pärast. But out of celebrating my savior coming to the world. Vaid selle pärast et täistada seda et meie pääst on tulnud maailma. This is why we 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 arrange our messages at this time of year around this event. Ja selle pärast ma ka because this is our Savior coming to the world for us. The most amazing event that had happened in history. Supernatural. Life changing. World changing. And this event still has power for us today. Ja selle sündmusel on ikka veel väge meie jaoks tänasel päeval. And so I, I want you to be excited about Christmas. And all that God has given to us through the birth of Jesus Christ. Because Christ is our reason for celebrating. And I hope that you and your family will be able to celebrate it big. Ja ma loodan, et teie ja teie perekonnad saate seda suure jõunaliselt täistada. I hope you'll eat lots of food. Ja ma, ma loodan, et te sööte palju toitu. I hope you'll, you'll generously give gifts to the ones that you love. Et te teete heldeid kingitusi nendel inimestele, keda te armastate. We want the world to know how amazing our Savior is. Ja me tahame, et maailm teaks, kui hämastav on, kui vaimustav on meie päest. Ja. And here in Luke chapter 1, Ja siin Luuka esimeses peatükis Luke gives us the most detailed description of the events of Jesus' birth. Luuka annab meile siin väga üksik asjalise ülevaate nendes sündmustest, mis Jeesuse sünniga olid seotud. And the verses that we're going to read today are some of the most famous verses that are read at every Christmas time. Ja need salmid, mida me täna loeme, on ühed kõige 
tuntumat nende salmides, mida loetakse ikka sellel puhul. And so forgive me if these verses just might sound a little cliche, he reads it every year at Christmas. Ja antke mul andeks, kui need salmid tunduvad sellised klisheelikud, et neid loetakse iga aasta jõulud ajal. But I want, I, I want you to get something out of this today that's going to be, be life-changing. Aga ma tahan, et te saaksid selles sõnumis täna midagi sellist, mis oleks teile elu muute. I believe this message never gets old. Ja see sõnum ei vanane iialgi. But what we're going to talk about today when I get to my point Ja millest me täna räägime, kui me jõuan oma selle põhilise asja juurde? I believe it is going to be fresh and alive. Ma usun, et see saab olema värske ja elav. And that we're going to be able to go out of here today knowing that we've heard from heaven for ourselves. Ja kui me läheme siit täna välja, siis me teame, et me oleme kuulnud taevast midagi enda. So I'm going to start reading with Luke chapter 1 verse 26. Ja ma tahan siis alustada lugemist Luuka esimese vang esimese peatüki 26. salmist. And this is is uh, talking about a time where Things were much more simple than they are today. Ja see räägib ajast, kus asjad olid palju lihtsamad kui need on tänapäeval. You know, life back then, uh, you just, you know, you just kind of did what you had to do to get by every day. Ja siis elu seisa selles, et sa tegid igapäev neid asju, et kuidagi uh, elus püsida. You know, men would go out and work. Women would, would take care of the home and the family. Mehed läksid välja tegid tööd, naised olid kodus, hoolitsesid kodu eest. Today, most people or most families, you have both husband and wife going to work. You know, everybody's rushing and, 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 and in a hurry. We've all got our mobile phones and our little smartphones with us to, to make sure that we can be texting all day long. And when we're checking all day long to see if anybody commented on our little funny text that we wrote in the morning. And so we're just we're just busy and we're just caught up with all the other things that have really nothing to do with life. Ja me oleme siis väga hõivatud kõiki need asjadega, mille tegelikult eluga suurt midagi business ei ole. But let's go back to a much more simpler time this morning. Aga läheme täna hommikul tagasi ühte aega, mis oli palju lihtsam. Where there was no smartphones and there was no internet. Kus ei olnud nutti telefoni ega interneti. And you weren't really worried about what people are doing halfway around the world. You're just worried about your family and your city. Ja sa ei olnud siis mure sellepärast, mida inimesed teevad teise pool maakeras, olid Sa olitsid sellest, mis puudutas sinu perekonda ja sinu lähedasi. And here you have a very simple young, young lady who's grown up in a good home. Ja siin on üks lihtne noor naisterahvat, kes on kasvanud üles heas kodus. She loves God. She knows the scriptures. Ta armastab Jumalat, ta tunneb pühakirja. She's doing the very best she can to live a life that is worthy of him. Ja ta teeb, annab oma parima, et elada ta sellist elu, mis on väärt Jumalat. And let's pick this up in verse 26. Ja alustame seda lugu siis 26. salmis. It says, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee. Aga kuuendas kuus läkitas Jumal ingel Gabrieli Galilea linna, mille nimi on Naatsaret. To a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Neitsi juurde, kes oli kihlatud Joosepi nimelise mehega Taaveti soost. Ja and neitsi nimi oli Maaria. And then the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Ja tulles sisse tema juurde ütles ingel, Tere, sa armu leidnu, isand olgu sinuga. And Mary was greatly troubled at his words, wondering what kind of greeting this might be. Aga tema ehmus väga selles sõnast ja mõttes, mis see teretus võiks tähendada. Just like you would. Ja nii nagu sinagi. If an angel showed up kui... and said, man, hey, I'm glad to meet you, you are highly favored. Ja kui ingel ilmuks äkki kohale sinu ellu ja ütleks, et tere, sa armu leidnu, et... Et Jumala soosing on sinuga. Uh, you would probably be wondering, okay, what is this all about? Siis sa mõtleksid, mis sa siis eegi nüüd küll on? And so Mary, she's, she's kind of having a, probably a big question mark on her face as she's looking at this angel. Ja Maarjal oli ilmselt naos üks suur küsimärk, kui ta seda inglit vaatas. <laughs> and the angel said to her, Ja ingel ütles talle, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Ära karda, Maaria, sest sa oled leinud armu Jumala juures. And you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. Ja vaata, sa saad käima peale ning tood ilmale poja ja paned temale nimeks Jeesus. And he will be great. He will be called the son of the most high. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Tema saab suur olema ja teda peab hüütama kõige kõrgema pojaks. Ja isan Jumal annab temale ta isa Taaveti aujärja. And he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Ja ta valitseb iga vesti Jaakobi soo üle ning tema kuningriigil ei ole otsa. 
And so here, she's hearing this, this message like, it's, like she should know what's going on. Ja Maaria kuuleb seda sõnumit otse kui ta peaks teadma mis toimub. Like she should already understand what's going to happen. Nagu ta peaks juba aru saama sellest mis sünnib. Like she knows that that Jesus is coming, he's the son of God, he's going to die for the world, everything's cool. Nagu nagu ta teaks et Jeesus on Jumala poeg ja ta tuleb ja sureb maailma pärast ja nedasi. And I get to be his mama. Ja minu saab tema ema. And how cool is that? Ja kas see ei ole siis lahe? No she was not really excited about all this. Ei ta ei olnud sugugi vaimustunud kõiges sellest mis ta kuulis. And we see here in verse 34 she said how can this be Mary asked, since I'm a virgin Ja 34 salmis Maaria ütleb ingli et kuidas sa võib sündida kuna ma mehest ei tea And then uh, the angels answered her the holy spirit will come on you and the power of the most high will overshadow you and the, uh, the holy one will be uh, will be born and so the holy one to be born will be called the son of God Ja siis ingel ütleb temale et püha vaim tuleb su peale ja kõige kõrgema vägi varjab sind Selle pärast peab ka püha, kes sinu sünnib nimetatama Jumala pojaks. So again, this is not going to be the son of a man, this is going to be the son of God. Et see ei saa olema mitte inimese poeg, vaid see saab olema Jumala poeg. But how many you know many times Jesus claimed himself as the son of man? Nagu paljud teist teavad, et väga tihti Jeesus ise väitis, et ta on inimese poeg. And that was true. Ja see oli õige. But he was also the son of God. Aga ta oli ka Jumala poeg. He was 100% man but he was 100% God. Ta oli 100% inimene, aga oli ka 100% Jumal. And then in verse 26. Ja siis Saimis 36. The angel starts giving her a little bit of inside information. Ingel hakkab tale andma sellist ise informatsiooni natuke. Even your uh, even Elizabeth your relative is going to have a child in her old age and she who is said to be unable to conceive is now in her 6th month. Ja vaata su sugulane Elisabet temagi on pojaga käima peal oma vanas heas. Ja see on kuues kuu temal, keda öeldi olevat sigimatu. For no word from God will ever fail. Sest Jumalal ei ole üks käsi võimatu. So Mary must have, must have heard that God had promised her that she would have a child. Ja Maaria pidi olema kuulnud, et Jumal on tõutunud tale lapse. And the angel is reminding her what she had heard. Ja ingel tuletas tale seda meelde, mida ta on kuulnud. And she said even now in her old age she's going to have a baby. Ja, ja ta ütles, nüüd kui Elisabet on vana, nüüd ta saab lapse. Just because God's word never fails. Selle pärast, et Jumala sõna ei kuku iia läbi. How many are thankful his word never fails? Ja kui paljud teist on tänulikud, et Jumala sõna ei kuku iia läbi. God's word, if you grab onto a promise, it will stand for you. Ja kui sa haarad kinni mõnest Jumala sõna tõutuses, siis see seisab sinu jaoks. And so Mary answered in, in verse 38, I am the Lord's servant, may your word to me be fulfilled. Ja and kolme... the angel left her. 38. salmis on öeldud, et aga Maari ütles, vaata, siin on isanda ümmardaja mulle sündigu su sõna järgi ja ingel läks ära tema juurest. And so we see this story here of this supernatural work of God. Ja siin me näeme seda lugu Jumala üleloomulikust tööst. A woman who had never had sex with any man. Ja siin on naine, kes, kes, kelle ei olnud kunagi olnud seksuaalsuhteid ühege mehega. Is going to become pregnant. Ta jääb rasedaks. God is going to place the seed on the inside of her. Ja Jumal paneb seemne tema sisse. In a supernatural way. Üleloomulikul viisil. And she is going to become pregnant with a child. Ja ta jääb rasedaks. And, and she she has a humble heart ja tal on alandik süda to, uh, to to just say okay whatever god wants let him do it et öelda lihtsalt et üks puha mida jumal tahab lasta teeb seda i am i am ready to carry this gift ma olen valmis kandma seda uh, andi and so she, god knew that he could use her ja jumal teadis et ta saab teda kasutada and she believed that god could do anything ja ta uskus et jumal võib teha üks puha mida even in her isegi tema sees you know, I think a lot of people think that God can do anything. But they block it and say, but I don't know about if he'll do it for me. It's easy for pastors to get up and say, God can do anything ja, for you guys. Ja öelda, Just believe God, he'll do anything Tuusu for lihtsalt, you. Jumal, ta teeb sinu jaoks puha mida. But then in their own lives, they struggle to believe God for even the simplest things. Aga enda elus nad võitlevad, et uskuda Jumalat kas või kõige väiksemaid asju. It's easy to put this off on somebody else. Et seda on lihtne kellegi teise peale panna. But it's, it's a lot more difficult for us to trust that God could do anything in me. Aga palju raskem on uskuda seda, et Jumal võib teha minu jaoks midagi. Mary had stepped across that line. Ja Maari oli sellest joonest üle astunud. And she said, I believe that God could do anything 
even in me. Ta ütles, et ma usun, et Jumal võib teha üks puha mida isegi minus. And so why did she believe that? Aga miks ta uskus seda? Because she knew that nothing was impossible with God. Sest ta teadis, et Jumalal ei ole miski võimatu. And if her relative as, as, as an old lady as she was, Ja kui tema sugulane, see vana naine, if she was able to be pregnant, kui tema võis jääda rasedaks, when it should not be possible, kui see ei olnud tegelikult võimalik, then why not me too? Siis, siis miks mitte ei või see ka minuga sündida? It's just as impossible. See on sama võimatu. And that's why the angel was telling her this story. Ja selle pärast inged rääkis talle selle loo. To strengthen her and her faith so that she would, would be bold about what it is that God is doing in her life. Et teha tugevaks ta usk, et ta võiks olla julge selle suhtes, mis Jumal kavatses teha ta elus. And from that moment, ja. Mary knew that she was carrying the promise. Ja sellest hetkes peale Maaria teadis, et ta kannab seda tõutust enda Because seis. she chose to believe the word of the Lord. Sest ta otsustas uskuda isanda sõna. And she told her fiancé Joseph, Ja ta ütles oma kihlatule Joosepile. Remember, he'd never slept with her. Ja nad ei olnud kunagi maganud. And she said, guess what? I'm pregnant. Ja ta ütles, tead, ma olen rase. <laughs> <laughs> And Joseph was like, um, see ya. Ja Joosep ütles, ma ei tea, mis... Goodbye. Ja, ja aega. <laughs> uh, and, and the Bible says that Joseph wanted to get rid of her. Ja Bibel, Bibel on öelda, et Joosep tahtis temast vabaneda. Listen, think about it. Mõtle selle peale. Just like you would. Nii nagu sinagi tahaksid. You've tried to be really good with this girl. Ja sa püüdsid selle tüdruku vastu olla võimalikult hea. You've tried to, to be a, a godly man. Püüdsid olla Jumala kartlik mees. Not have sex before marriage and you're, you're doing your best. Ja mitte seksida enne abielu ja anda oma parima. You know you've never touched her. Ja sa tead, et ole seda kunagi puudutanud. And she comes and says, hey, I'm pregnant. Ja siis, great news. Ja siis ta tuleb, et oh, mul on hea uudis, ma olen rase. And you know it's not you. Ja sa tead, et see ei olnud sinust. You would do the same sa thing. Sa sama asja. You would say, hey, I'm sorry, go find the man then, because it ain't going to be me. Ja sa ütled siis tal, et mina otsi endale mees, et minust mina selleks ei saa. Until the angel of the Lord, the Bible says, appeared to Joseph. Kuni Bibel ütleb, et Jumala ingel ilmus Joosepile. And said, listen, everything that Mary told you is true. Ja ütles, et kõik see, millest Maaria sulle rääkis, on tõsi. She's not pregnant because of a man. She's pregnant because of the Holy Spirit. Ta ei ole rase mitte mehest, vaid ta on rase pühast vaimust. And the baby that she is going to have Ja see laps, keda, keda ta kannab, is going to be the one that will change the world. Selles saab see, kes muuda maailma. And you've been chosen to be the father. Ja sinu, sina oled valitud isaks Mary's olema. been chosen to be the mother. Ja Maaria on valitud olema emaks. And at that moment, Joseph realized she's been faithful to me. Ja sellest hetkest peale Joosep teadis, et Maaria oli tal, tal olnud ustav. So I will be faithful to her. Ja selle pärast olen mina ka tal ustav. And so instead of just getting rid of her, Ja selle asemel, et vabaneda Maariast, they get married. Abielusid nad. This is a big step. Ja see oli suur samm. This man is marrying a pregnant woman. Ja see mees abielus raseda naisega. Believing that God is doing something special. Uskudes, et Jumal teeb midagi erilist. And how many you know that if Brenda would have, would have came to me before we got married and said, listen, I'm pregnant, it's not yours, but let's get married, I would have said, I don't know. Ja mis ta arvad, kui Brenda oleks tulnud minu juurde enne, kui me oleme abi, abielunud ja öelnud, et kuule, ma olen nüüd rase, et mis ta arvad, mis ma oleksin teinud? Et see, see, ei ole mitte sinu, see ei ole mitte sinu laps. But let's get married anyway. Aga abielum ikkagi. Uh, I probably would have said no. Ma oleksin ilmselt öelnud, et ei. Right, I said, you got the wrong guy, girl. Et sul on vale, vale kuts siin. But here they both hook up with this, this plan of God. Aga siin nad mõlemad liitsusid selle Jumala plaaniga. And as they get married, ja kui nad abielusid, the Bible said Joseph never touched her physically, sexually until she actually had the baby. Ja Piibel ütleb, et Joosep ei, ei puutunud temas seksuaalselt enne kui see laps oli sündinud. And so he honored what God was doing in her. Ja ta austas seda, mida Jumal tegi Maarias. He honored what, what, God, what God had planted on the inside. Ja ta austas seda, mida Jumal oli istutanud Maariasse. And he didn't want anybody to be able to say, oh, well, it's Joseph. Ja ta ei tahtnud, et keegi saaks öelda, oh, et see oli Joosep. No, he said, I'm not going to touch her. Ta ütles, ei, ma ei puutu teda. And let's watch this miracle. Ja vaatame, kuidas ime sünnib. Let's see what God can do. Vaatame, mida Jumal võib teha. And so, once, once she had the baby Jesus, 
Ja, siis ne sai selle Jeesus lapse. They had a normal marriage at that point for, from that point forward. Ja selles tetkes edasi oli neil normaal abielu. They had several children together, Joseph and Mary. Ja neil oli uh, Joosepil ja Maarial koos mit, mitu last veel. Jesus grew up with brothers and sisters. Jeesus kasvas ülesse vendade õdedega. But he was different. Aga ta oli teistsugune. He always was, was, was uh, uh, the, the one that was special. Ta oli alati eriline. Everybody in the family knew that this 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 one is different. Ja kõik perekonnas teadsid, et see poiss on teistsugune. Later on, James becomes the pastor of the church in Jerusalem. Ja hiljem saab Jakobusest pastor Jerusalema koguduses. He was Jesus' brother. Ta oli Jeesuse vend. And so we see that his whole family. Ja me näeme, et terve ta perekond understood that was a special man. Said sai aru et tegemist on ühe erilise mehega. And his own brother would, would stand up and proclaim Jesus Christ is Lord ja, of all. Ja tema enda vend tõusis ja kuulutas et Jeesus Kristus on isand üle kõige. Now how many you know it's 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 uh, pretty amazing when somebody else would say that. Ja kas see ei ole hämmastu kui kei teine ütleb seda. But when your own family would say that. Aga kui sinu enda perekond ütleb seda. I mean especially my brother. Eriti minu end. I don't think he would stand up and say man Barry is the bomb. <laughs> et ma ei usu et tema tõuseks üles ütleks et Barry on mis asi. He's the man. Et tema on see tõeline mees. No there's a competition between brothers. Ja right? enda vahel on tavaliselt ikka selline võitlus. He's not better than me. Let me tell you 10 reasons why I'm better than him. Ja tema ei ole minus parem, ma võin sulle öelda 10 põhjust, miks ta ei ole minus parem. But it wasn't that way between Jesus and his brothers and sisters. Aga, aga Jeesuse vendade õdede vahel ei olnud asjad sellised. He, he, was, he was so different and they all recognized that he was the son of God. Ta oli nii teissugune ja kõik tunnistasid seda, et ta on Jumala poeg. They all grew up knowing that who, who he was and what he would do. Nad kasvasid üles teades, et kes ta on ja mida ta teeb. And so Joseph, when the angel appeared to him. Ja kui ingel ilmus Joosepile. He hooked up with this and he said, "Okay, I believe that this is the son of God." Siis ta võttis selle vastu ütles, et ma usun, et tegemist on Jumala poega. I believe that this is going to be something amazing. Ta ütles, et ma usun, et sellest saab midagi hämmastavad. And we know the story happens that that the baby Jesus was born in a manger. Ja siis me teame seda lugu, kuidas Jeesus baby sündis seal äh hallis wasn't was not born in a hospital tai sündinud mitte haiglas was not born in a home sõimes tai sündinud kodus was not born in a nice hotel somewhere tai sündinud kusagil peenes hotellis he was born in a barn vaid sündis aidas või laudas laudas with animals koos loomadega dirty Sal oli must stinky. Haises. How many know that's probably not the place most women would choose to have their child? Ja kui paljud teist arvad, et naised tavaliselt ei, ei valiks sellist paika, kui nad peaksid laps sünni, last sünnitama. You know, probably most lambs would say, let's go somewhere else. Ja <laughs> kena muk enam ik lambaid ütleks, et läheme kusagile mujale. Let's go out into the nice green grass or somewhere lähme, because that's a nasty place. Läheme kusagile kena rohelise rohu peale, mitte siin But selles koledas paigas. This was the place where Jesus comes into the world. Aga see oli paik, kus Jeesus tuli ilmale. Now I'm going to I'm going to start where where we're going to end up here today. Ja ma alustan sellega millega me ka lõpetame täna hommikul. And I want to I want to give you my main point and then we'll we'll go back and we'll discuss it. Ma annan teile selle oma põhipunkti ja siis me arutleme selle üle. But I want you to be pregnant. Aga ma tahan, et ka teie oleksite rasedad. I want you to be pregnant with what God has given you. Ma tahan, et oleksite ka rasedad sellega, mis Jumal on teile annud. Now, I'm not just talking about a natural baby, so, so everybody can relax. <laughs> ma, 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 ütl, ma julgustan teid, et see ei ole mitte tavaline füüsiline laps, kelles my, ma räägin. My interpreter et... <laughs> about fell over. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want you to... to... Är, ärge arvake, et ma räägin mingist füüsisest lapsest. <laughs> I, I, I want you to know that there is something that God has placed inside of you. Vaid, ma tahan, et te teaksid, et Jumal on pannud teie sisse midagi. And it is going to grow on the inside of you. Ja see kasvab teie sees. And one day it will become a reality. Ja ühel päeval saab see tõelisuseks. And until then you carry that thing. Aga kuni selle ajani te kannate seda. Now we know that it takes nine months for a baby to grow. Ja me teame, et võtab üheksa kuud aega, et laps suures kasvaks meie we don't, naise jõus. We don't know much about what happens to Mary during those nine months. Ja me ei tea palju, mis Maariga sündis nende üheksa kuu jooks. But we do know that for nine months she is carrying a miracle in her. Aga me teame, et üheksa kuud ta kandis imet enda sees. She hasn't seen it yet. Ta ei ole teda veel näinud. But she's carrying it. Aga ta kannab teda. All right. There's going to be, be things that God is going to place on the inside of you that you're going to need to carry for a while. 
Ja on asja, mis Jumal paneb sinu sisse, mida sa pead mõnda aga kandma. There's going to be promises that God will give you that takes time for it to, to grow and to develop. Ja on tõotusi, mis Jumal annab sulle, mis võtab aega, et need areneksid ja kasvaksid. And you need to carry that with you. Ja, ne, ja te peate kandma need endaga. You need to, to, take, to nurture that and take care of that, ja, that is on the inside Ja te peate toitma seda, mis on teie sees ja hoolitsema selle eest. And then the day will come. Ja siis tuleb päev. That what is in you is going to come out. Mis see, mis on teie sees, tuleb välja. What God has promised you, you will see. Mis Jumal on teile tõotanud, te näete seda. And that is when we give God the glory. Ja siis me anname Jumala lau. But you need to watch and see how amazing God is going to be to you. Aga te peate vaatama ja nägema, kui hämmastav on Jumal teie jaoks. And so whether you are young or whether you are old. Ja kas te olete noored või vanad. Whether you are a man or whether you are a woman. Kas te olete mehed või naised. I want you to declare something. Ma tahan, et te kuulutaks. I want you to say I'm pregnant. Ma tahan, et ütleksite, ma olen rase. I'm pregnant. Ma olen rase. Right. Say it this way. Öelda, öelda seda nii. Say I'm expecting. Ma ootan last. Ma no, ei tea, ma ootan lihtsalt. Ma ootan. Ootan. Right. Okay, ma ootan. Okay, what? Okay. <laughs> My interpreter is going off the line. Okay, say this. Say Ö- I'm expecting. Ö- öelda seda, ma ootan. Ma ootan. Ma ootan. I'm expecting. Vai, Amen. Amen. I'm expecting. I want you to be expecting some things from God. I want you to be pregnant with the purposes of God and the plans of God. I want you to take the promises of God and let those things grow in you. And know that the day will come that I will see everything that God promised. And some of you might ask like Mary asked, well, how could this be? Ja mõni teist võib küsida nii nagu ka Maaria küsis, et kuidas see võib sündida? How could this be? Kuidas sa- saab see sündida? I'm a man, I'm not pregnant. Ma olen mees, ma ei ole rase. Now I know that there was a movie a couple years ago we talked about a guy that got pregnant. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> ja me ei räägi mitte sellest filmis, mis paar aastat tagasi oli ekraanil, kus üks mees ei rasedaks. <laughs> we're talking about real something on the inside of you that you know this is what you are to carry. Ja me räägime tõelisest asjast, mis on sinu sees ja mille kohta sa tead, et sa pead seda kandma. Something on the inside of you that you believe God is going to cause this to grow and to develop in me. Miski, miski sinu sees, mille kohta sa tead, et Jumal laseb selle kasvada minu sees. And the promise Arenada. that I have is going to become a reality. Ja see tõotus, mis mul on, see muutub reaalseks. And you carry that with you. Ja sa kannad seda endaga kaasa. And you know that God is going to do something great. Ja sa tead, et Jumal teeb midagi suurt. When somebody is pregnant, that means that there's something alive on the inside of them. I want you to know that the promises of God are alive and they are real. And we are to carry that promise until it becomes a, a, a reality. But some of you say, well, how can this be? You know, God speaks something to you sometimes and your first thing is, I don't know. Ja Jumal räägib sinu vastu mõnikord midagi ja siis sa mõtled, et, et ma ei tea, kas on ikka võimalik. I don't, I don't know if God, if you, I know you can do anything, but I don't know if you could use me. Ma tean Jumal, et sa võid teha kõike, aga ma ei tea, kas sa saad mind kasutada. I believe that you can do whatever it is that you want to do to anybody. Hallelujah. Ma tean, et sa võid teha üks puha mida, üks puha kellele. But I don't, I'm, me? I really? No. Aga minu suhtes ma ei tea, kas see käib. How can this be? Kuidas saab see olla võimalik? And maybe you're going to give reasons why you're not able to do something. Ja võibolla sa esitad põhjuseid, miks sa ei saa seda teha. You know, my life is so dirty. Mu elu on nii räpane. I have not lived a good life. Ma ei ole elanud head elu. How could you want to use me? Kuidas sa võid tahta mind kasutada? Or maybe you would say something like, well, I have, I have sin in my life that I haven't defeated yet. Ja võibolla sa ütled, et mu elus on veel patu, mida ma ei ole võitnud. How how can you use me? Kuidas sa saad mind kasutada? Or how, I've never done anything before. Ma ei ole varem kunagi midagi teinud. How could you promise something like this to me? Kuidas sa saad mulle midagi sellist tõotada? Or maybe you would say, well, other people are a whole lot more qualified than I am. Ja võibolla sa ütled, et teised inimesed on palju enam kvalifitseeritumad kui mina. Or just the question would be, why me? Või siis võibolla küsimus lihtsalt, miks mina? Why me? Miks mina? How can this be? Kuidas saab see olla? And I believe that when we have questions, Ja ma usun, et kui meil on küsimused, that God is not afraid of our questions. Siis Jumal ei karda neid. Amen. Amen. I mean, I mean we're not, we're, you know, some people in, in church, they talk about having this blind faith, that whatever God says, just let it be. Ja mõned inimesed koguduses räägivad sellisest pimedast usust. 
Whatever God says, just mida, let it be. Mida yks poha, mida Jumal ütleb, lasse olla nii. And that is not really the kind of faith that we should have. Aga tegelikult meil ei peaks olema selline usk. If it's going to be real solid faith, kui tegemist on tõelise kindla usuga, we need to have some answers to some of our questions. Siis vähemasti osadele küsimustele peavad meil olema vastused. You're not going to have answers to all your questions. Kõikidele küsimustele sa ei pruugi vastuseid saada. But you need to have some answers. Aga mõningat vastused peavad tulema Jumala käest. You need to at least know what is the purpose. What, why are we doing this? Sa pead vist, kas või seda teadma, et mis on selle asja eesmärk, mida me teeme. And not just have a blind faith well, we're coming to church just because that's what we do. We, we celebrate Mitte Christmas. Me tuleme kogudusse, et täistame jõule ja kõik. That, that, that's what we do. Why? I don't know. That's ja what we do. Me lihtsalt teeme seda, aga miks me seda teeme, ma ei tea. No, we should know why. Me peame teadma, miks. Why are we telling others that, that we, you know, they should come with us? Miks me räägime teistele, et nad peaksid tulema meiega kaasa? If you don't know why, you're not going to do it. Ja kui sa ei tea, miks, siis sa, sa ei tee seda. If you don't know that there is a hell and a heaven, you're not going to do it. Ja kui sa ei tea, et on olemas taevas ja põrgus, siis sa ei tee seda. If you don't know that there is an eternity, whether you, you believe in him or not. Ja kui sa ei tea, et on olemas igavikas, siis usult tema you're going to keep your mouth shut. Siis oma suu kinni. Because nobody wants to get into somebody else's life and try to tell them what to do. Sest keegi ei taha teise inimese ellus ekkude öelda talle, mida ta peab tegema. Unless you know what is true. Kui sa just ei tea, et see on tõsi. Unless you get some answers to your question. Ja kui sa ei saa oma vastustele küsimus, oma küsimustele vastuseid. Is to why would I go to my friend and tell him, man, you have got to receive Jesus. Miks, miks ma pean minema oma venna juurde ja ütlema tal, et ta peab võtma astu Jeesuse? Go to a family member and say, listen, I love you and I have something I need to tell you. Ja minema mõne perekonna liikme, perekonna liikme juurde ütlema, et ma armastan sind, aga ma pean sulle midagi ütlema. We need to have some answers. Meil peavad olema vastused. And we need to be able to, to know what it is that God is doing and why he's doing it. Ja me peame teadma seda, mida Jumal teeb ja miks ta seda teeb. Now we don't need to know how. Me ei pea teadma seda, kuidas. Because there's a lot of things God does that I have no idea how. Sest on väga palju neid asju, mida Jumal teeb ja ma ei tea, kuidas ta teeb neid. But we need to know, like, like what, what are you going to do and, and why are we going to do this? Ja me peame teadma seda, et miks me teeme neid asju, mida me teeme. And you have to cooperate with God. Ja me peame tegema Jumalaga koostööd. And you have to believe. Ja me peame uskuma. To be used by him. Et olla temas kasutatud. If you don't cooperate and if you don't believe, God can't use you. Kui sa ei tee Jumalaga koostööd ja ei, ei usu temasse, siis ta ei saa sind kasutada. So we have got to be able to have something to cooperate with. Selle pärast peab, peab meil olema midagi, millega koostööd teha. We've got to have something to believe in. Meil peab olema midagi, millesse uskuda. And so God is looking for you. Ja Jumal uh, otsib sind. You need to believe that you are good enough for God to use. Ja sa pead uskuma, et sina oled piisavalt hea, et Jumal sind saaks kasutada. Not because you've lived a perfect life. Mitte sellepärast, et sa elasid täiuslikku elu. Not because you have no sin. Mitte sellepärast, et sul ei ole pattu. But because you love Jesus. Vaid sellepärast, et sa armastad Jeesus. And what Jesus did is enough for you. Ja see, mida Jeesus tegi, sellest piisab sinu jaoks. And you keep your heart right and you stay humble like Mary. Ja sa hoiad oma südame õige ja oled alandik nii nagu Maaria. And you need to know that God will use you. Ja siis sa pead teadma, et Jumal taab sind kasutada. And you're going to get the answer that Mary got to your question. Ja siis sa saad vastuse oma küsimuseni nii nagu Maariagi sai. <laughs> you're going to use me? Really? Kas sa tõesti mind kasutad? How? Kuidas? I, I, there's, there's other people so much more qualified. Teised inimesed on palju enam kõlvulikud selleks. Why me, God? Miks mina, Jumal? You're going to get the same answer Mary got. Ja siis sa saad sama vastuse, mis Maariagi sai. By the power of God. Jumala vää läbi. By the Holy Spirit. Püha vaimu läbi. We are going to work together. Me teeme koos tööd. And you and God. Ja sina ja Jumal. Are going to do something great for te- the kingdom. Teete Jumala riigi jaoks midagi suurt. You need to know that there is a plan and there is a purpose for you. Te peate teadma, et teie jaoks on plaan ja eesmärk. And it's not going to be your power and by your great abilities. Ja see ei, ei sündi sinu vää või sinu suure võimekuse läbi. You need to know it is by the power of God working in me sa, that these things will be done. Sa peate teadma, et, et nad asjad toimub. Jumala vää läbi, mis toimib sinu sees. And so Jesus coming to the earth ja Jeesus tuli siis maa peale. Was the greatest gift that we can receive. Jeesuse tulek maa peale oli kõige suurem ain, mis me võime vastu võtta. Let's jump ahead in this story to Luke chapter 2. Ja üppame selles loos edasi Luuka teise pead üks. 9 months later. 9 kuud hiljem. And then in Luke chapter 2 and verse 8. Salmis 8. It says here and there were shepherds living in the fields nearby watching over their flocks. 
at night. Ja seal on öeldud, et ja seal paigus oli karjas, et väljal õitsil pidamas valve töösel oma karja juures. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. Ja isanda ingel astus nende ette ja isanda au hiilgus paistis nende ümber ja nemad katsid üli väga. Again, just like you would be. Ja nii nagu sinagi oleksid väga hirmul. Right? If you're out, of, just, you know, this is not a normal night. Ja see ei ole mitte tavaline öö. It's usually dark. Tavaliselt on pime. Right? That's what night is. Ööd ongi pimedat. And usually at, at night people aren't walking around. Ja öösid tavaliselt inimesed ei kõni ringi. People aren't coming and talking to you. Inimesed ei tule ja räägi sinuga. Even other shepherds would stay far from one another. Isegi karjased hoiavad oma ette. And all of a sudden here comes an angel. Ja äkitselt tuleb üks ingel. Glowing. Selline särav. <laughs> and they were terrified. Ja nad hirmuvad. The kohkuvad. angel said to them in verse 10, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Ja siis kümnenda sanvis on öeldud, et ja ingel ütles neile ärge karke, sest vaatama kuulutan teile suurt rõõmu, mis saab osaks kõigele rahvale. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Sest teile on täna Daavidi linna sündinud õnnistegija, kes on isand Kristus. And this will be a sign to you that you will find a baby wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. Ja see olgu teile tunnuseks, te leiate lapse mähitud ja sõimes magavad. How many you know this is probably really easy to find? <laughs> ja, paigu paljudest te teavad, et seda on väga kerge leida seda last. You go into the city and you don't say where's the hospital where all the new babies are. Ja sa lähed, sa lähed linna ega ei küsi, kus see kus sa või küsid, kus see haigla on, kus kõik uued lapsed, sündinud lapsed, vastu sündinud lapsed on. You say, does anybody know where a barn is? Vaid sa küsid, et kas, te, kas keegi teab, kus see laut on? Can you point me to the area where everybody keeps all of their dirty lambs? Ja kas te võite näidata mulle paika, kus kõik peavad oma musti või räpaseid lambaid? And then they go into this area where all the barn animals are. Siis nad lähevad sinna, kus kõik need loomad laudas on. And they find a baby laying in a trough that the animals drink from. Ja siis nad leevad lapse sõimest, kust, kust tavaliselt loomad jõuvad. And they say, that's the one the angel's talking about. Ja see on see laps, kellest Inger rääkis. So God didn't make it difficult, it made it really easy. Ja Jumal ei teinud seda raskeks, ta tegi selle väga kergeks. And they found this, fam- this, this new family there. Ja nad le- leevad selle väske perekonna seal. They find Mary and they find Joseph and they find a baby in a manger. Leevad sealt Maaria ja Joosepi ja väikese lapse sõimest. And in here this this is the best news that these guys could have received. Ja see oli parim uudis, mida need mehed oleks võinud saada. Because for hundreds of years for generations God has been silent. Sest sadu aastaid terveid põlgondi Jumal on vaikinud. The last time that God spoke was in Malachi. Ja viimale kord, kui Jumal rääkis, oli Malakias. And now it's been silent for generations. Ja nüüd on Jumal olnud vaik, vaitas äh, terveid põlgondi. Everybody's waiting for God to come back and to do something and to speak again. And... Ja kõik ootavad seda, et Jumal tuleks tagasi ja räägiks midagi või teeks midagi. And then finally the angel appears and says, Hallelujah, it's time. Ja siis lõpuks tuleb ingel ütleb, et halleluja, nüüd on aeg käes. And your Savior has come. Yes, the ja, Messiah. Ja teie päästja, jah, Messias on tulnud. The one that was promised generations ago. Seda, see, keda, kellest on tõot, keda on tõotatud <laughs> terveid põlgondi tagasi. And I love what the angel said here. Ja mulle meelib see, mis ingel siin ütleb. They did not say the Savior, a son has been born to Mary. Ja siin ei ole öelnud, et päästja on sündinud Maariale. That would have been a true statement. See oleks olnud õige. Because Mary was the mama. Sest Maari oli tõesti ema. She's the one that birthed this baby. Tema oli see, kes sünnitas selle lapse. I love the way the angels put this. Aga mulle meelib see, kuidas ingel seda ütles. <laughs> the Savior has been born to you. Päästja on sündinud teile to you teile not to them mitte neile to you teile to you teile they didn't even know mary nad isegi ei teanud kes see maari on and her son was born to them 
ja tema, ne, ja tema poeg sündis neile. And you need to know that today this message is still true. Ja te peate teadma, et see sõnum on täna endiselt t- t- tõsine. Jesus tõene. was born for you. Jeesus sündis teile. This was all about you. God saw you. Ja Jumal nägi sind ja, ja selle pärast see sündis. And so Jesus is coming as an invitation from God. Ja Jeesus tuleb kui kutse Jumala käest. To say, come and know more about me every one of you. Ja et öelda, et tulge ja õppige mind tundma enam kõik teed. And this invitation has already been sent to you. Ja see kutse on teile juba saadetud. And you are welcome here. Ja te olete tere tulnud siia. The world is welcome. Maailm on tere tulnud. God is waiting. Jumal ootab. And we get to be a part of something amazing that God has planned. Ja me võime olla osa millestki hämmastavas, mis Jumal on kavandanud. And so this invitation is Jesus. Ja see kutse on Jeesus. This gift of God that came in a supernatural way for us. See Jumal and mis tuli üleloomulikul viisil meie jaoks. He was a baby that was wrapped in the he was God that was wrapped in the flesh of a man. See oli Jumal, kes oli mähitud inimese lihasse. And he was sent with a purpose. Ja ta saadeti eesmärgiga. And that purpose was to redeem man and get us back to a place where God could speak freely. Ja see eesmärk oli lunastada meid ja, ja viia meid tagasi paika, kus sa, Jumal saab meiega vabalt rääkida. How many are thankful that God can speak Kui to you freely? Kui palju teist on tänulikud, et Jumal võib vabalt meiega rääkida. I'm so thankful you don't need to come to me to hear from God in your own life. Ja ma olen nii tänulik, et ei pea tulema minu juurde ja ja et selleks et kuulda mida Jumal tahab öelda teile teie elu kohta. I'm so thankful it's not my responsibility as your pastor to talk to you about what it is God wants you to do. Ja ma olen nii tänulik, et see ei ole minu vastutus pastorina rääkida teile seda mida Jumal tahab teile öelda. Because I have a hard enough time finding out what it is I'm supposed to do. Sest mul on piisavalt tegemist sellega et teada saada mida Jumal tahab et mina teeksin. I don't want to have to get involved in all your business. Ma ei taha kõige teie asjade hakata tegelema. I'm so thankful that we have a savior who came. Ja ma olen nii tänulik, et meil on pääste kes tuli. And provide a way for us to to personally be able to speak to our God. Ja tegi meile võimalikuks selle viisi, kuidas me saame ise rääkida Jumalaga. Provided a way back for us. Ja tõi andis meile tagasi selle viisi või selle võimaluse. And Jesus came with a purpose. Ja Jeesus tuli eesmärgiga. And that purpose was to bring you back to God. Ja see eesmärk oli tuua sind tagasi Jumala juurde. But he has uh, he has a, a problem. Aga tal on üks probleem. Because right now there's just a family and some shepherds that know about it. Sest praegu teab sellest ainult tema perekond ja mõned karjased. And the Bible says as Jesus grew, he grew in favor with God and man. Ja piibe räägib, et kui Jeesus kasvas, siis ta kasvas ka soosingus Jumalaga ja inimestega. That means everybody liked him. Ja ta näeb, et kõik, kõik ta meelis kõigile. Right, everybody respected him. Kõik pidasid tast lugu. God was with him. Jumal oli temaga. He spoke when he spoke. He spoke the very words of God. Can you imagine that? Grow ja. up with that? Ja kas te äh, suudate uskuda, et kui ta rääkis, siis ta rääkis Jumala sõnu üles kasvades. And so here, he, this, this, this child is growing and he's, he, he's got the favor of God like no other person has ever had it. Ja siis siin see laps kasvab ja tal on selline soosing, mida ei ole mitte kellelgi teisel. And now he has to get this word out to the world. Ja, ja, tema, ja ta tunneb, et ta peab selle sõna edasi andma maailmale. He knows that the, 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 the whole world needs this message. Ja ta teab, et terve maailm vajab seda sõnumi. And I've got a job that I need to do. Ja mul on üks töö, mida ma pean tegema. And listen, you are here today because you've been called by God to help. Ja, ja kuulake, te olete täna sellepärast siin, et olla abiks sellel, mida Jumal tahab teha. Just like he called the disciples to help him in that day. Nii nagu ta kutsus jüngrit tol ajal, kui Jeesus oli siin maa peal. Jesus has called you to help him in this day. On Jeesus kutsunud ka sind, et sa aitaksid sellel päeval kaasa. There is a plan that God has for you to accomplish. Ja on üks plaan, mida Jumal tahab, et sina teostaksid. There's something that God has for you to do that is supernatural. On midagi, mida Jumal tahab, mida sa teeksid, mis on üleloomulik. And you say, me? Ja sa ütled, mina. Why me? Miks mina? How, how can this be? Kuidas see saab sündida? It can be because of the power of God that brought you to the Lord. See saab sündida Jumala väe läbi, kes tõi sind isanda juurde. And the power of God that will send you out with the message. Ja see sama Jumala vägi saadab su välja sõnumiga. It is by the power of God that we are able to step up and do our part in the family of God. Ja Jumala väe läbi me võime astuda üles ja teha oma osa Jumala perekonnas. And just as somebody told you about him. 
Ja nii nagu keegi rääkis sinule temast. You are to go and tell somebody else about him. Pead sina minema kellegi teise jõude rääkima talle temast. How did you hear about the truth of God? Kuidas sina kuusid Jumala tõest? You need to go help some, some other people hear about the truth of God. Ja sa pead minema aitama kellegil teisel kuulda Jumala tõest. It is time for you to receive the invitation. Sul on aegs võtta vastuse kutse. But it's also time for you to give the invitation. Aga on aeg ka edasi anda see kutse. Amen. Amen. Receive God's invitation. Võta vastu Jumala kutse. Receive the, the fact that God wants to know you and, and have relationship with you. Võta vastu see kutse, et Jumal tahab sind tunda ja omada suhet sinuga. And then take that invitation and go share the invitation ja, with others. Ja siis võta see kutse ja mine jäga seda teistega. This is the call that is upon us. It's a call that's on this church. Ja see on see kutse, mis on meie peal ja see kutse, mis on meie kogudusel. And just as Jesus got his disciples to help take the message, he, he wants you to help carry this message. Ja nii nagu Jeesus on olid üngrid, kes aitasid tal seda sõnumit edasi viia, nii sama moodi oleme meie temal. And don't worry. Ja ära muretse. Jesus knows what you've done. Jeesus teab, mida sa oled teinud. And he still wants you. Ja ta taab ikka sind. Amen. Amen. Uh, don't worry, he knows your shortcomings. Ja ära muretse, ta teab, millised on sinu puudujägid. And he still wants you. Ja ta ikka tahab sind. Jesus knows where, where you think that, that you have failed. Ja Jeesus teab, kus kohas sa oled läbi kukkunud. And he still wants you. Ja ikka, ikkagi ta tahab sind. He sees your potential. Ta näeb seda potentsiaali sinu. And he says to you this morning, just like he said to Mary. Ja ta ütleb sulle täna hommikul nii nagu ta ütles ka Maariale. Don't be afraid. Ära karda. I want you. Ma tahan sind. I can use you. Ma võin sind kasutada. You are just the one that I've been looking for. Sa oled just see, keda ma olen otsinud. We've got a job to do. Meil on üks töö, mis vajab tegemist. Let me put something on the inside of you that you could take to the world. Las ma panen sinusse midagi, mida sa võid viia maailmale. And so we have potential. Nii et meil on potentsiaal. You have something in you, I believe, that, we, that you are to carry for him. Sinus on midagi, mida sa pead kandma tema jaoks. And each one of us has maybe a different part in this role. Ja meil kõigil on erinevad osad selles asjas. But when we all come together and we all are carrying our part, we can do something great together. Aga kui me tuleme kõik kokku ja iga üks kannab oma osa, siis me võime teha midagi suurt koos. It takes a lot of people just to do one church service working together. Ja on vaja palju inimesi, et teha üks koguduse koosolek, mis tõeliselt toimib. It takes you being part of the family for this to work together. Ja on vaja, et sina oleksid osa sellest perekonnast, et see toimiks. And so we have got a purpose. Nii et meil on eesmärk. There is a divine plan for you and for this church. Sinu jaoks ja selle koguduse jaoks on üks jumalik plaan. And in your heart, ja sinu südames, I believe you all know why you're here. Ma usun, et te kõik teate, miks te olete siin. We've just been talking about it for a couple of months. Me oleme rääkinud sellest mitu kuud juba. Why am I here? Miks ma olen siin? But really, I think you all know why you're here. Aga tegelikult ma usun, et te kõik teate, miks te olete siin. The question is, are we going to live up to why we're here? Küsimus on hoopis selles, et kas me elame sellel, selle järele, miks me oleme siin, are we, are we going to accomplish the plan of God while we're here? Kas me teostame selle Jumala plaani, kui me oleme siin? Because I believe what God wants for you is already placed on the inside of you. Sest ma usun, et see, mida Jumal tahab, et sa teeksid, see on juba sinu sees. He's already put it in you. There's something great in you. Ta on juba pannud selle sinu sisse. Sinu sees on midagi suur. There's a call upon your life. Sinu elu üle on kutsumine. And you've got to answer that call if you want to truly be fulfilled. Ja sa pead vastama sellele kutsule, kui sa tahad olla tõe. God, and listen, God is going to show up and he's going to help you. Ja Jumal tuleb ja aitab sind. But God shows up where, where, where he is welcomed. Aga Jumal tuleb ainult sinna, kus teda vastu võetakse. God shows up where he's invited. Ta tuleb sinna, kuhu teda kutsutakse. He has already invited you. He's invited the world. Ta on juba sind kutsunud. Ta on kutsunud terve maailma. And many have answered the invitation. Ja paljud on vastanud sellele kutsele. But now he is waiting for your invitation. Aga nüüd ootab ta sinu kutset. God, come help me. Jumal, tule aita mind. God, I believe in you and I, I accept your invitation. Jumal, ma usun sind, ma võtan vastu sinu kutse. I, I thank you for Jesus. I'll take the work he did because I can't do it. Ja ma, uh, ma võtan vastu selle töö, uh, Jeesus, ja, ja... Because I can't do it. Sest mina ei saa seda teha. I'm saved. Ma olen päästetud. And I thank you that I'm saved. Ja ma tänan sind sellest, et ma olen päästetud. And so I'll take that. Ma võtan selle vastu. But now we need to send him an invitation. Aga nüüd me peame saatma talle kutse. 
And a lot of times people think, what is God waiting for? Ja tihti peale inimesed mõtlevad, mida Jumal ootab. Why, why doesn't God do more? Miks Jumal ei tee rohkem? How can God let these things happen? Kuidas Jumal laseb nende lastade sündida? Because he's waiting for us to give him the invitation. Aga selle pärast, et ta oota meie järele, et me annaksime selle kutse. And even when we've, we've accepted his invitation, he's still waiting for us to say, now God, come into my life. Ja, ja ta ootab, et me ütleksime Jumalale, et Jumal, tule minu ellu. Come in and do something great in me. Tule ja tee minu sees midagi suurt. God, help me today to be all I can be. Jumal, aita mul olla täna see, kes ma võiksin olla. And he will come and he will help you. Ja siis ta tuleb ja aitab sind. He will come where he is welcome. Ta tuleb sinna, kus teda vastu võetakse. And we need to welcome him here. Ja me peame teda tervitama siin. I want him to know he's welcome here. Ma tahan, et ta teaks, et ta on tere tunnud siia. I want him to know he's welcome in my life and in your life. Ma tahan, et ta teaks, et ta on tere tunnud sinu elus ja minu elus. That we trust that he is faithful, that there's none greater. Ja me, me teame, et ta on ustav ja ole kedagi suuremat. And we welcome him with our praise. Ja me tervitame teda oma kiitusega. And we welcome him with our expectation. Ja me tervitame teda oma ootusega. What are you expecting? Mida ootad sina? What are you believing God for? Mida sa usud Jumalalt? What are you carrying? Mida sa kannad? What are what are you pregnant with? Millega sa oled rase? What what has God put in you? Mis sa on Jumal pannud sinu sisse? That you need to let out of you. Et sa peaks mida sa peaksid laskma enda sest välja. And you might say, "Well, how?" Sa võid küsida, kuidas? And the answer is going to be by the power of God. Ja vastus on Jumala väe läbi. By the power of God. Jumala väe läbi. And Mary was expecting a baby and she got Jesus. Ja Maaria ootas last ja ta sai Jeesuse. My question for you this morning is what are you expecting? Minu küsimus sulle täna hommikul on see, mida ootas sina? What are you expecting? Mida ootas sina? Well, I'm just expecting that I'll make it to 2019. That's that's my faith. Ja ma ootan ainult seda, et ma jõuaksin 2019. aastasse. So your faith is about two weeks away, right? Ja sinu usk küünib ainult kahe nädala kaugusele. Your goal is pretty short, pretty simple, pretty little. Ja see sinu eesmärk on väga lähedal ja väga I just want to make it to another year, Pastor. That's all I want. Kui ma suudaksin veel ühe aasta vastu pidada, Pastor. And we think that's the humble answer. Ja me mõtleme, et see on selline alandlik vastus. We think that, oh yeah, well, I just, if I could just live another year, God, God veel, be the glory. Kui ma võiksin veel ühe aasta elada Jumale. Uh, no, let's, let's go beyond just breathing. Läheme kaugemale sellest, et me lihtsalt hingame. What are you expecting? Mida sa ootad? And I don't care how old you are or how young you are. Ja mind ei hoita see, kui vana sa oled või kui noor sa oled. How much responsibility you think you have. Kui palju vastutus sul enda arvates on. Some people think I just don't have the time. I don't have time for church. I don't have time to serve. I don't have time because I'm so busy. Mõned inimesed ütlevad, oi, mul ei ole aega kogudusse tulla, mul ei ole aega teenida, ma olen nii hõivatud. You know, a lot of times when people don't show up for a couple of weeks, you want to know what their excuse is 90% of the time. Ja kui inimesed juba mitu korda ei käi koguda, siis sa tahad teada, mis vabandus neil on. Ja see on 90% juhul see. I don't even need to ask. Ma ei pea isegi küsima. They'll, they'll volunteer it. Nad ise ütlevad selle välja. They'll come to me and say, Pastor, I'm sorry I've been here for a couple of weeks. I've just been so busy. Nad ütlevad, et Pastor, ma ei ole mitu nädalat saanud käia, ma olen nii hõivatud. 90% of the time. I haven't seen somebody for a couple of weeks. On see nii. I haven't seen somebody for a couple of weeks. Ma ei ole kedagi näinud mitu nädalat. They will volunteer why I have not seen them. Ja sinna ise ütlevad vabatahtlikult, miks nad, miks ma ei ole neid näinud. Why do you think they're doing that? Why do you think they're doing that? Miks sa miks arvad, et nad teevad seda? I think they know they were too busy. Nad nad they know. Nad teavad, et nad on olnud liiga hõivatud. They, they could have been here, they just chose not to. Ja nad oleks võinud siin olla, aga nad ei nad valisid see või otsuses, et nad ei tule siia. They're just a little feel a little guilty maybe and so and they just say, it's just been so big. Ja nad tunnevad ennast süüdlasen ja ütlevad, oi, et ma olen olnud nii õivatud. You know, paper over my head. Paperid üle pea. My desk is full. Mu laud on täis paperid. So many things that I have to do. Nii palju asja, mis ma pean tegema. I just, you know, my kids. Lapsed. You know, you don't have kids. You don't understand that. Ja sul ei ole lapsi, Barry. I'm just so busy. I'm just so busy. Aga ma olen lihtsalt nii õivatud. I'm sorry I missed church, but you know, I'm just... Ja mul on kahju, et ma kogudus ei jõunud, aga ma olen nii õivatud. If you want, pray for me that God would help me because I'm so busy. Kui sa tahad, siis palveta minu pärast, et Jumal aitaks mind, sest ma olen nii õivatud. Don't get too busy to do the plans of God. Ja ära muutu nii õivatuks, et sa ei saa enam teha Jumala plaani. Don't get so distracted ära lase ennast kõrvale juhtida. That you miss what God's plan is for you in your life. Et sa lihtsalt lased mööda sellest, mis Jumala plaan on sinu jaoks. What are you expecting? Mida sa ootad? What are you waiting for in this new year? Mida sa ootad selle uuelt aastalt? What are your, where is your faith for 2019? Mis, milline on sinu usk 2019. aastaks? And is it just about you? 
Well, I want God to bless me. I want finances for me. I want health for me. I want my family to be strong. I want my job to go well. I want to enjoy every day that my joy would be full. If it's all about you, you're missing something. God wants to bless you. I'm not, I'm not saying he doesn't. But he wants you to look past you to what others might be able to be impacted by your life. Ja selle peale, kuidas sa saaksid teiste inimeste elu mõjutada. And when we can help somebody else, ja kui me saame kedagi teist aidata, that means that we have more than enough for ourselves. Siis see tähendab, et meil on rohkem kui küllalt ka enese jaoks. So instead of just believing God to bless me, I'm believing God to be a blessing. Nii et selle asemel, et uskud ainult seda, et Jumal mind õnnistaks, ma usun seda, et ma võiksin olla õnnistuseks. That means I've got more than enough, right? If I could be a blessing to somebody, that means my needs are taken care of. And so I'm not going to be selfish just to believe for me. I want to believe for others. And I want to be able to share what God has given me to others. I want to be able to share good news to my friends and my family. Ja ma tahan jagada head sõnumid oma sõpradele ja oma perekonnale. I want to see people I know give their hearts and lives to Jesus. Ja ma tahan, et need inimesed, keda ma tunnen, annaksid oma elu ja südame Jeesusele. Not about my eternity, it's about their eternity. Et mitte minu igavik ei ole siin oluline, vaid nende igavik. My, my eternity is sealed. Sest minu igavik on juba paigas. How many are thankful your eternity is sealed? Kui palju teist on tänulikud, et te igavik on juba paigas? We're going to heaven. Me läheme taevasse. We're going to be forever in the glory of God. Me oleme igavesti Jumala aus. I mean, there's not even a question. Selles ei ole ühtegi kahtlust. But there's a lot of people out there that are questioning their eternity. Aga paljud inimesed väljas pool, neil on kahtlused selles osas. You ask them what's going to happen when you die there. Kui sa küsid inimeste käest, mis siis sünnib, kui sa sured, nad ütlevad, ma ei tea. And they try to lie to themselves and say, well, this is just, this is no, life is over, then we're ja, just dead. But they know on the inside, as soon as they say that, there's something inside of them that says, no, 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 it's not true. It's not true. And the more they say it, the more that voice says, no, that's not true. Ja mida rohkem nad seda ütlevad, seda rohkem see ajal ütleb, et see ei ole tõsi. The Bible says that eternity is written in the hearts of each and every one of us. Ja Bible ütleb, et igavik on kirjutud meie kõigi südamesse. Everybody knows that this is all about life. Ja kõik teavad, et, et asi on elus. Eternal life. Igaveses elus. And where are you going to spend eternity? Ja kus vedad sa igaviku? And so we have a job to do. Et meil on üks töö, mis vajab tegemist. Whatever it is that God has placed on the inside of you, you need to know that it's there and it's growing. Ja mida iganes Jumal on pannud sinu sisse, sa pead teadma, et see on seal ja, ja see kasvab. What are you carrying <laughs> mida for 2019? Mida sa kannad 2019. aastaks? What are you expecting mida, in 2019? Mida sa ootad järgmiselt aastal? Not just what are you expecting for, for, for yourself. What are you expecting God to do through you? Let me, just, let, me, let me challenge you even more. What are you still believing for for 2018? We still have two weeks in this year. What could God do in the next two weeks through you that could be supernatural? What could God do through you that could change families and, 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 and generations forever? What could you say? What could you do? That would cause this Christmas to be the best Christmas that somebody had ever known. Because they understand the true meaning of why we celebrate. Let's not put any limits on what God can do. Let's believe God for our future to be great, but let's believe God for our present to be great. But we need to carry the promise. We need to be expecting. We need to be We need to be expecting. We need to be expecting. What are you expecting God to do? What are you expecting God to do through you? 
well, if I could just make it to church at least twice a month for the next year, that would be awesome. No, what are you expecting? <laughs> what do you think God can use you to do? And there's probably been, there's probably some of you who have been carrying things for years. When you should have only been carrying it for months. There are some people that have, have been have, have something birthed in them for years, but it's never come out. They just keep carrying it. Let's get to a point. That we will believe God that he could do what he said that he would do. That we could trust that what God has spoken to my heart, that now is the time for these things to begin. Just know it takes time to develop. But when it is developed, when you've had the time to let it grow in you, then, it's, then you need to get it out. And so there, you know, there was a Christmas song that, that uh, became very popular uh, maybe 10 years ago now, I don't even know. And, and uh, it was a song that, that was called Mary, Did You Know? Mary, did you know that your baby boy? And, and, and so it's, it's this song about, about, Mary, did you really know what it was that you were doing? Did you know who it was that you were holding? And can I just answer that question real quick this morning? Mary knew. Mary knew. Mary knew exactly what this miracle was. Mary, Mary had, had visions and dreams for this baby that, that no mother could ever imagine. Other mothers couldn't even imagine. No, every mom has got visions for their babies, right? Every mama can say, My child can be president. My child can, can change nations. My child can have the greatest business mind ever. Yeah, and so we, we've got big, but listen, nobody had ever had visions like Mary had visions for her child. Mary knew. What did she know? Mary knew that God could fill a virgin womb. God, Mary knew that, that angels proclaimed who he was and what he would do. Who he was and what he would do. Mary knew that, 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 that men came to worship him as a child. Ja Maaria teadis, et inimesed tulid kummardama tema last lapsena, väikse lapsena. As a child. Lapsena. I don't know how many two-year-olds I would, I would think, let me just worship them for a while. <laughs> ma ei tea, kui palju on neid kahe aastasi keele kohta, ma võiksin öelda, et lasse ma kummardan teda natuke. I'm just like, when can I leave, right? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, thank you for making me look better. Okay, uh, so, so when, when, we, when we're... When, when, when she begins to see these things happening, she knew that Jesus' words had power his whole life. She knew that God's power flowed out of him. She, she heard the word come out of him like a river. Now she did not know the whole plan. But she knew there was a great plan. And she believed. And Mary knew some things. Mary knew some things. I don't believe the Bible writes everything that Mary knew. But Mary knew some things. Even the shepherds that night when they came. And they found Mary and Joseph in a barn. It was probably just a cut out cave, uh, like a cut out in, in the rock. 
And inside of that little dark, wet, damp, stinky hole. There was a baby laying in a feeding trough. And they walk up and they bow down and they say, that's the Messiah. And they said it with joy in their eyes. They said it with, with, with a peace in their hearts. Ja this is the child that's been promised for generations. Ja laps, you would expect to find that child in a castle or in, in a palace. Ja võiks arvata, sa leiad selle lapse kuskid lossist või paleest. But you find the child in a stinky barn. Aga sa leiad ta sellisest haisast paigas. And you bow and you worship the child because of what's been told you. Ja, ja sa kummardad ja, ja maha selle lapse ette selle pärast, mis on sulle öelnud. And then in Luke chapter 2 verse 17. Ja siis Luuka teises peatükis salm 17. It says in verse, uh, yeah, verse 17, it says, when they had seen him, they spread the news concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary? And Maria. Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. Maaria pidas kõik need, as- kõik need sõnad meeles ning mõttes nendele oma südames. All the things. Kõik need asjad. All the things that, that the Lord had spoken to her. Kõik need asjad, mida isand oli tale rääkinud. All the things that the shepherds said that they heard about her child. Kõik need asjad, mida inglid oli tale öelnud, mida nad kuusite selle lapse kohta. Both at this, at this night, both Mary and Joseph knew this is the King of Kings. Ja selle öel teadsid nii Maaria kui Joosep, et tegemist on kuningate kuningaga. Not just was it a supernatural conception, it was a supernatural night. And the shepherds showed up and said, the whole field was with, the whole field that we were in filled up with angels. And they gave us this message. Let me tell you what they said about this kid. And they said, you should have heard him sing. We've never heard anything like it. It was so beautiful. They sang about your child. And what he would do and who he is. And Mary took all these things and put them in her heart. She knew who he was. She pondered these things for Jesus' whole life. Her whole life she knew he would be great. Her whole life she knew that he was special. Her whole life she knew that he would, would be the one to, to, to be used by God for Israel's sake. And, and so Mary grew up knowing that Jesus would, would do everything he needed to do for God. There was a plan. Jesus would fulfill the plan. She maybe didn't understand it all, but she knew that. And he came as the savior of the world. And she knew that. And she was just glad to be used in the process. She was just thankful to be part of the plan. You know, I think that's the heart that you and I should have. And we should just be thankful to be part of this great plan of God. Just be thankful that God can use us to be part of this plan and part of what he's doing. Mary was not just expecting a baby boy and then stopped expecting. Mary was not just expecting a baby boy and then stopped expecting. 
Mary kept expecting. Mary stayed pregnant with the plans and the purposes of God. Just like you and I need to stay pregnant with the plans and purposes of God. That we need to be expecting God to do something great. And our expectation is going to be the invitation. Invitation for God to come and to do something amazing. And he will do something supernatural. Just like Mary knew that any moment something supernatural could happen. She lived daily. Trusting God at his word. May your word be fulfilled in me, she said. And so Mary, Mary, she pondered some things. She knew some things about Jesus. She had heard things that nobody else had heard. She knew things nobody else knew. And she did her very best to prepare him and equip him for what God had for him to do. And she pondered some things in her heart. What are you pondering in your heart? What do you think about when you think about Jesus? What do you think about when you think about the plan of God and the kingdom of God? What do you know? Where is your faith? What do you believe God can do through you? What are you expecting? Do you believe God for the supernatural every day of your life? Do you believe that God could do anything at any time and you're ready? And supernatural isn't going to always look spectacular. It's not always going to be something great. You know, when Jesus showed up, he didn't look like Thor. Thor? You know the... Ah, okay, Jumal Thor. You mean that? When Jesus showed up, he didn't look like a superhero. A superhero, okay. Yeah. Ah, sorry, Thor. Mis sa naarad see? Et kui Jeesus tuli, siis ta ei olnud nagu mingi super kangelane. You know, how many are Marvel's fans? I'm a Marvel fan. I know, alright, you might think. I don't know. You watch movies? Yes, okay. No, I do. Okay, but anyway. Did you mean Thor? Thor. The Scandinavian god? Yes. Thor, okay. Yes. Now I got it. Alright. Jeesus ei olnud mitte Thor, kui ta tuli. You know, he didn't stand there and say, Dun, da, 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 I'm here to rescue you. Ja, ta ei tulnud sellise, ma olen siin, ma tolin teid päest. He came as a baby. It wasn't spectacular, it was just a baby. He didn't come with power in his hand of a hammer. <laughs> no, he came as a baby. But how many of you know it was a supernatural night? Supernatural night. And things that are supernatural aren't always going to be amazing. But it will always be supernatural. And when we, when we think of God doing something, we think he wants to do something big. And a lot of times the supernatural is something small. Something small that God could use to become great. Amen. It's like this nation. We are a small nation that I believe God has a plan to do something great. I believe that with all my heart. Do you believe that with all your heart? I believe there's a plan for our country. And we're so small. But a lot of times the small things can be great. You think about a move of God and how easy it would be if a million people got saved in our country what an amazing thing that would be. What an amazing thing it would be. A million people get saved in India and nobody even recognizes it. But a million people get saved in Estonia, everybody's going to be like, 
What's going on there? Kui miljon inimest Eestis saaks päästetud, siis oleks see midagi täiesti vabustavad. How many know God can do amazing things in a small package? Kui paljutes teavad, et Jumal võib teha ämastavad asju väikeses, mis tuleb väikeses pakendis. God can do something amazing in you. Jumal võib teha sinus midagi hämastavad. God can use you to do something great. Jumal võib kasutada sind, et teha midagi suur. God can use this church to do something great. Jumal võib kasutada seda kogudust, et teha midagi suur. What are you believing God for? Mida sa usud Jumalalt? I'm believing him for the supernatural. Ma usun tema üle loomulikku. I'm not going to try to tell him what that looks like. Ma ei ütle tale seda, milline see välja peab nägema. Because what I think is supernatural might not be exactly God's plan. Ja sest, mis minu arvates on üle loomulik, ei pruugi olla suuge mitte Jumala plaan. I mean, I want fire from heaven and I want the, the, the woohoo stuff. Ma tahan tult taevast ja sellist kraami. But sometimes God is just changing a heart and changing a life that he can do something great. Aga Jumal mõnikord lihtsalt muudab inimese südame, muudab inimese elu, et see teeks midagi suurt. But you can know that whatever God does, it is going to be supernatural. Aga sa võid teada, eks puha, mis see on, mida Jumal teeb, see on üle loomulik. And it's always going to lead to something greater. Ja see viib alati millegi suureni. And you can receive. Ja sa võid võtta vastu. You can receive. Sa võid võtta vastu. In your own life. Oma enda elus. Part of this plan. Osa sellest plaanist. You can carry part of the plan in you. Sa võid kanda osa sellest plaanist enda sees. So what is in you? Et mis on sinu sees? What are you expecting? Mida sa ootad? What are you carrying for Jesus? Mida sa kannad Jeesusele? Don't miss the power of God. Ära jää ilma Jumala väest. Don't miss Christ in this Christmas. Ära jää ilma Kristuses selle nende jõulud ajal. Because you're, you're, you're looking for something common. Sest sa otsid midagi sellist tavalik. I mean, you're, you're looking for something supernatural. Sa otsid midagi, midagi üle loomuliku. And you miss the common. Ja jääd ilma sellest tavalisest. And a lot of times it's in the common ja that God will do something supernatural. Ja ta, tihti loogu on see, et tavalisest teeb Jumal midagi üle loomuliku. It not, might just be in you opening up your home. Ja, Maybe just you opening your home ja and having people come. Ja sa lihtsalt võib olla avad oma kodu uksed kellegile. And, and having people come and, and you sharing the love of God. Ja lased inimeste tulla ja jagad nendega Jumal armastust. About this Christmas day. Sellel jõulupäeval. You might invite your neighbors just to say, come over and, 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 and be a part of what we're doing. Ja sa võib olla kutsud oma naabrid, ütle, ütle neile, tulge ja, ja olge osa sellest, mida me teeme. And you might say, well, you don't know my neighbors. They are so loud and so noisy. Listen, I'm not telling you what you should do. But I believe you should get a plan. And I believe you should allow God to use you in your life every day. And don't miss what it is that God wants to do. You just need to know that Jesus can use anything and anyone. Amen. And he could use you. He could use you. And Lord, your servant is ready. That's what Mary's answer was. She didn't keep coming up with excuses. She just said, okay, whatever it is. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to be used by you. At your word, let it be done. Sündiga mulle sinu sõna järgi. And for you, at, even towards the end of this year, your miracle might be right in front of you. Ja sinu ime võib olla otse sinu uh, silme ees veel sellel aastal. And, you, and if, if you're not careful, you can look right past it. Ja kui sa ei ole tähele panelik, siis sa võib olla vaatad sellest hoppis üle või mööda. And miss what it is that God wants to do in your life. Ja jääd ilma sellest, mida Jumal tahab teha sinu elus. Miss what God wants to do through you. Ja jääda ilma sellest, mida Jumal tahab teha sinu läbi. To impact another person or another family. Et mõjutada mõnda teist inimest või mõnda teist perekonda. So however it is that God wants to show up. Ja olgu see üks puha millisel viisil, kuidas Jumal tahab ennast we, ilmutada. We just need to be ready. Me peame olema valmis. We just need to be welcoming him. Me peame teda tervitama. Whatever God wants to do. Mida üks puha, mida Jumal tahab teha. Be expecting a miracle for you and for your family. Me ootame imet enda ja oma perekonna jaoks. Expecting something supernatural. Ootame midagi üle loomulikku. That something supernatural can be done or said through you. Ja midagi üle loomuliku võib, võib olla tehtud või öeldud meie kaudu. And something expecting that God can use you. Ja me ootame, et Jumal tarvitaks meid. To help somebody else. Et aidata kedagi teist. And so you're always ready. Ja me oleme alati valmis. It should be part of your prayer every morning. God, I'm ready to be used of you today. Ja iga loomikul peaks olema osa meie palvest see, et Jumal, ma olen valmis, et sa mind kasutaksid. Not God, you know, have people be ready to help me. Mitte Jumal, et ma tahan, et inimesed oleksid valmis aitama mind. But God, I'm ready to help some people. Vaid Jumal, ma olen valmis. I'm ready for you to use, use ma, me, lead me. 
Ju, juhi mind ja kasuta mind. Uh, whatever it is that I need to do, I'm ready. Üks puha, mida ma pean tegema, olen, ma olen valmis selleks. God's waiting for that expectation. He is our invitation because he's waiting for your expectation. Ja Jumal ootab seda kutset, sest ta ootab sinu valmis olekut. He wants you to be ready to be used by him in your life. Ta tahab, et sa oleksid valmis, et ta sind saaks kasutada sinu elus. And God will choose vessels that nobody else is even noticing sometimes. Ja tihti lugu või mõnikord kasutab Jumal selliseid inimesi, keda teised tähelegi ei pane. I mean, nobody really knew who Mary was. Ja keegi ei teanudki tegelikult, kes see Maari on. Joseph did. Joosep teadis küll. But nobody else really even knew who she was. Aga teised ei teanud ise, kes ta on. The world at that time had no idea who Mary was. Ja tolle maailmal ei olnud aimu, kes see Maari on. The world today... A lot of people know who Mary. Ja täna päeva maailmas paljud teavad, kes on Maaria, kes oli Maaria. Why? Miks? Because of her faithfulness. Tema ustavuse tõttu. But because of her belief that said that God can do anything through me. Selle läbi, et ta uskus, et Jumal võib teha tema kaudu üks puha mida. And so God will use people. Nii et Jumal kasutab inimesi. That others have overlooked. Kelles teised võib-olla mööda vaatavad. And God can take somebody who is very humble. Ja Jumal võib võtta kellegi, kes on väga alandlik. And make them very great. Ja teha nad suureks. If they'll keep their heart right. Kui nad hoiavad oma südant õige. Amen. Keep your heart right. Hoia oma süda õige. And in all the opportunities you have in life, keep your heart right. Kõikides võimalustes, mis elu sulle pakub, hoia oma süda õige. Stay humble before your God and humble before those around you. Ole alandlik Jumala ees ja nende ees, kes on sinu ümber. And God will lift you up high. Ja Jumal tõstab sind kõrgeks. He will do great things through you. Ta teeb suuri asju sinu läbi. I believe he can do great things through our church. Ma usun, et Jumal võib teha suuri asju meie koguduse läbi. And so to start the process. Ja selleks, et alustada seda protsessi. To start developing this gift in us. Et alustada selle anni arendamist enda sees. You have to, to, to live for God on purpose. Pead sa elama Jumalale eesmärgi, eesmärgi elada Jumalale. Amen. Don't live for God by accident. Well, if something shows up, then okay, I'll be able to. Ära ela Jumalale nagu juhuslikult, et kui midagi sünnibet, siis okei. But but say God, I I I know your ways are higher than my ways. Vaid ütle, et Jumal, sinu teed on kõrgemad kui minu teed. And I'm going to do what it is that you called me to do. Ja ma teen seda, mida sa oled kutsunud mind tegema. And then we have instruction from the word of God on how to do it. Ja siis meil on juht nöörid Jumala sõnast, kuidas seda teha. We have instruction how to 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 live. Meil on juht nöörid selle kohta, kuidas elada. We have instruction on how to accept his invitation. Meil on juht nöörid selle kohta, kuidas võtta vastu tema kutse. And how to get this invitation out to the world. Ja kuidas viia see kutse välja maailma. We have instruction from the word of God on, on what, what gives us purpose for life. Meil on juht nõrid Jumala sõnas selle kohta, mis annab meile eesmärgi elus. And it's not that you are perfect. Ja mitte, et sa oleksid täiuslik. But it's about your heart being right. Vaid tähtis on see, et sinu süda oleks õige. That you would live to the very best of your ability. Et sa elaksid oma võimaluste... To the best of your own ability parimate võimaluste järgi, mis sul on. And that you would do everything that you can for God. Ja et sa teeksid kõiki, mis sa suudad Jumalale. And not wait for somebody else to do it. Ega oota, et keegi teine teeks seda. Amen. Don't wait for God to do it. Ära oota, et Jumal teeks seda. You do it. Tee sina seda. You do it with him. Tee seda koos temaga. You do it for him. Tee seda tema jaoks. And when you have that kind of a of an expectation, God is going to show up and he will work through you. Ja kui sul on selline ootus, siis Jumal ilmub ja Ja, ja teeb need asju sinu läbi. And so this is good news. Ja see on hea sõnum. That will bring, bring great joy. Mis toob suure rõõmu. For all people. Kõikidele inimestele. Amen. Amen. This is the message that we have. This message of Christmas. Ja see on see meie jõulu sõnum, mis meil on. But we have got to be expecting something great. Me peame ootama midagi suurt. Don't, 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 don't uh, stop giving God the glory for every good thing in your life. Ja ära kunagi uh, lõpeta Jumala lau andmist kõikide nende head asjad eest meie elus. Be happy Ole õnnelik. for everything you have. Kõige eest, mis sul on. Give God glory Anna Jumala lau. for everything that you can do. Kõige eest, mis sa võid teha. But know that the greatest joy came to us on this night. Aga tea, et kõige suurem rõõm tuli meile sellel ööl. This night where the shepherds were gathered watching their sheep. Ja sellel ööl, mil karjased valvasid oma karja. And all of a sudden the heavens opened. Ja äkitsed läksid taevad lahti. Their eyes were opened. Ja nende silmad läksid lahti. And they began to see some supernatural things. Ja nad läksid nägema üleloomulike asju. 
They left the sheep to go find this, this Messiah, the Savior who had been born. And we need to rejoice. Me peame we need to stir up the joy in ourselves. Me peame enda sees üles selle rõõmu. We need to not wait for somebody else to make us happy. We can stir the joy in ourselves. Me pea ootama, kui keegi teine teeb meid rõõmsak, vaid me võime õhutada üles selle rõõmu enda sees. Knowing that what God, God has done for us Teades, et see, mis Jumal on teinud meie jaoks, gives us a reason to live. Annab meile põhjus elada. What God has done for us is more than enough. Aga see, mis Jumal on meile teinud, seda on palju enam. For us to be able to live full lives. Et me võiksime elada terve oma elu. Happy. Õnnelikuna. Confident. Kindlana. And fruitful. Ja viljakana. Amen. Amen. Live fruitful lives this, Ela, this, this, this year. Elage me sellel aastal veel viljakat elu. Live fruitful lives going into next year. Aga elage viljakat elu, mis läheb järgmises aastasse. Let's believe that this Christmas will be the greatest Christmas yet. Ja usume, et see, need jõulud on kõige paremad jõulud, mis meil on olnud selline. Let your joy flow. Ja las sinu rõõm voolab. Because you're expecting something great. Sest sa ootad midagi suurt. Let your expector be so big on the inside. Las see ootus olla nii suur sinu sees. Get, get pregnant with the plan and the purpose of God. Ja jää rasedaks Jumala plaani ja eesmärgiga. And carry it as long as you can. Ja ka- kanna seda nii kaua, kui sa saad. And then let it go. Ja siis lase selle minna. And trust that God can use that. Ja usalda, et Jumal võib seda kasutada. What's your part in the plan? Mis on sinu osa selles plaanis? Expect something great. Oota midagi suurt. Expect something great. Oota midagi suurt. Would you stand with me? Ja tõuseme kõik püsti. Let's expect something great for this new year. Ja ootame selle uuelt aastat midagi suurt. Let's expect something great for this Christmas. Ootame selle, selle jõulu jaoks midagi uut. Midagi What are suurt. you expecting? Mida sa ootad? Stir up the expectation in Oota yourself. See ootus enese sees üles. And I believe when you do, when you stir up in you what God wants to do. Ja ma usun, et kui sa ootad enda sees üles selle, mida Jumal tahab teha. That we're going to begin to see supernatural things just like Mary. Siis me hakkame nägema neid sellised üleloomulike asju nii nagu Maaria. Because we're trusting God to do what he wants to do through us. Sest me usaldame, et Jumal teeb neid asju, mida ta tahab teha meie kaudu. And he's faithful. Ja ta on ustav. He'll never leave you. Ta ei jäta sind kunagi. Now we just need to accept his invitation. Me peame lihtsalt vastu võtma tema kutse. And then we need to share the invitation with others. Ja siis jagama seda kutset teistega. And I'm so thankful that we have a room filled with people ja, who accepted nii, his invitation. Ma olen nii tänulik, et meil on siin saal täis inimesed, kes on vastu võtnud tema kutse. They, they've accepted Jesus Christ as, as, as their Lord. Ja nad on võtnud vastu Jeesuse Kristus oma isandana. Now some of you may not be living the very best life. Ja võib-olla kõik ei ela sellist parimat elu, mis võiks olla. But you've already accepted the invitation. Aga te olete juba vastu võtnud kutse. Now it's time for us to get serious about the invitation. Ja nüüd on aeg muutuda tõsiseks selle kutse it's pärast. It's time for us to invite him. Ja aeg kutsuda teda. It's time for us to say, okay, God, come and do in me. Aeg öelda Jumalale, tule Jumale, tee minus. What it is that you want to do. Seda, mida sa tahad teha. And then when those things are placed on the inside. Ja siis need asjad, mis ta on pannud meie sisse. Believe that he would be able to use it to go out. Usu, et ta saab neid kasutada, et need läheksid välja. Touch the world. Ja puudutaksid maailma. You can change your family. Ja sa võid muuta oma perekonna. You can change your church. Sa võid muuta oma koguduse. You can change your city. Sa võid muuta oma linna. If you would just be faithful to do what he Kui sa oled ustav tegema seda, mida Jumal on kutsunud sind tegema. You can be a part of something great. Sa võid olla osa milleski suuremast. And I believe he will do it for you right now. Ja ta teeb seda sinu jaoks. All you got to do is invite him in. Ja sa ei pea tegema midagi muud kui kutsuma teda. Invite him in. Kutsuma teda sisse. Invite him in. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's ask the Lord just to come in. Ja palume, et isand tuleks. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Ja isa, me täname sind. We thank you for using us. Me täname, et sa kasutad meid. For your glory. Oma auks. Lord, I thank you for using this church. Isa, ma tänan, et sa kasutad seda kogudus. For your plan and your purpose. Oma eesmärgi, oma plaani jaoks. Lord, may, may, may our hearts be filled today. Isa, las ol, olgu meie südamed täidetud täna. With the plan that you have for each and every one of us. Selle plaaniga, mis sul on meie kõige jaoks. Speak, Holy Spirit. Räägi, Püha Vain. Show us what it is that you, you, you want from us. Näita, mida sa tahad meie käes. Show what it is that we are called to do. Näita seda, milleks me oleme kutsutud. And let those things grow on the inside of us. Ja las need asjad kasvavad meie sees. And Lord, those things that you've already spoken to those that are here. Ja isan need asjad, mis ta sa oled juba rääkinud inimestele siin. Those plans and those purposes that you've already placed in our hearts. Ja need plaanid ja eesmärgi, mis sa oled juba pannud meie südamesse. I pray, Lord, that this message has watered those things ja, today. Ja ma tänan, isa, et see sõnum on kastunud neid asju meie sees. That those things begin to grow once again. Et need asjad hakkavad taas kasvama. And we believe that you will bring it to a completion. Ja me usume, et sa viid need asjad täide. That through us you can do great things in this world. Et sa võid meie läbi 
läbi teha suuri asju selles maailmas. Lord, let us be part of your plan. Isan, lasme olla osa sinu plaanis. Let this church be part of your plan for this city. Lasse kogudus olla osa sinu plaanis selle linna jaoks. We believe that you're going to do something great here, Father. Ja me usume, et sa teed midagi suurt siin, Isa. You're going to do something great in this city. Sa teed midagi suurt selles linnas. You're going to do something great in this country. Sa teed midagi suurt sellel maal. God, we get to be part. Ja Isa, me võime olla osa sellest. We are so thankful. Me oleme nii tänulikud. And as we come to this Christmas season, Ja kui me nüüd oleme selles jõulu ajas, our hearts are so full. Meie südamed on nii täidetud. The joy of the Lord. Isanda rõõmus. The peace. Rahust. Everything that you have for us. Kõige sellest, mis sul on meie jaoks. Lord, may we be walking with these things and carrying these things with us. Ja Isand, lasme kanda neid asju enesega kaasas. That these things would flow through us. Et need asjad vooleksid meie kaudu. To show the world how amazing you are. Ja näitaksid maailmale, kui hämastav sa oled. And we thank you for all these things. Ja me täname siin kõige need asja tees. Thank you, Jesus, as we put you first. Ja täname siin, Jeesus, et kui me paneme sind esikohale. And as we lift you up. Kui me tõstame sind üles. That you will draw men unto yourself. Siis sina tõmba inimesed enda juurde. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Ja ma tänan sind isand. What you're doing in us. Selle eest, mis sa teed meie sees. Thank you for what you're doing in this church. Tänu, mis sa teed selles koguduses. We give you praise and we give you glory. Me anname sulle kiitus ja au. Because you are worthy, God. Sest sina oled väärt Jumal. You're worthy of our worship. Sina oled väärt meie üristus. You're worthy of our praise. Sina oled väärt meie kiitus. You're worthy of our lives. Sa oled väärt meie elusid. We live on purpose. Me elame eesmärgiga. Holy Spirit, help us to live on purpose. Põha vaim, aita meil elada eesmärgiga. By the power of God. Jumala vää läbi. Let it be done in our lives. Sündiguse meie elus. By the power of God may we stand. Jumala vää läbi, las me seisku. By the power of God may we operate. Ja Jumala vää läbi, las me toimigu. Flow through us. Ja voola meie kaudu. Flow through us. Voola meie läbi. How will this be done? Kuidas see sünnib? By the power of the Holy Spirit. Põha vaimu vää läbi. And we thank you for it. Ja me täname sind sellest. In Jesus' name. Jeesuse nimel. Hallelujah. And we just say, Lord, ja me ütleme, Isand, let it be even as you said. Sündigu meile nii nagu sa oled öelnud. Let it be for us. Lasse olla meiega nii. Just like you said. Nii nagu sa oled öelnud. Your promise. Sinu tõotus. Will be true. On tõsi. We give you glory. Ja me anname sulle au ja kiitust. Thank you, Father. Tänu sulle, Isa. Thank you, Father. Tänu sulle, Isa. Thank you for your church. Tänu sulle oma koguduse eest. Thank you for the people that you brought together. Tänu sulle nende inimeste eest, keda sa oled toonud kokku. For something great. Millegi suure jaoks. We give you glory. Me anname sulle au. We give you glory. Me anname sulle au. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Jumal on hea. Amen. Amen. He's so good. Ta on nii hea. In this Christmas season, let the gifts flow through you. Ja lasse nende jõulud ajal need kingid või ainid voolavad sinu kaudu. And I'm not talking about you got to go buy people a bunch of gifts. Ja ma ei räägi sellest, et sa peaksid minema ostma inimestele suure uniku kingitusi. But just you showing up. Vaid sa lihtsalt lähed kohale. You can have so much to impart into people's lives. Ja sinus on nii palju, mida sa võid inimestele jagada endast. Believe that you are one that God can use. Ja usu, et Jumal, et sina oled see, et Jumal saab kasutada. So say it again, say I am expecting. Ja ütle jälle, ma olen ootel. I am expecting. Amen. God bless you. Well, I'm going to ask the worship team to come. Yeah. Ja las üristus meeskond tuleb üles. And we're going to sing before we go. Ja me laulame enne kui läheme. But I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Aga ma olen nii tänulik iga ühe eest teie seal. Thank you for being with us this morning and being a part. Ei tähe, et olete osa täna hommikul olnud. I pray that you would go out of here and you would carry this message with you. Ja ma palun, et kui te välja lähed, et te kannaksite seda sõnumid enda ka kaasa. Know that God loves you. Ja teades, et Jumal armastab teid. I love you. Mina armastan teid. Jesus is coming soon. Ja Jeesus tuleb arsti. We get to be a part of something great. Ja me oleme osa milleski suurest. So let's finish this year with power. Nii et lõpetame selle aasta väega. Let's finish this year with great expectations. Ja lõpetame selle aasta suure ootusega. And let's go into this new year. Ja läheme vastu sellel uuel aastale. Knowing God is going to do, do wonderful things for us. Teades, et Jumal teeb selles paigas imelise asja. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Ja Jumal õnnistagu teid. Ei tähe, et oled olnud siin. And we'll see you Wednesday night. Ja näeme teid kolmapäe õhtul.
those hands, lift us from the rain. You are the light of life, the everlasting day. You are the one who takes all our sins away. Have a blessed week, everyone.